And in this pie chart, you can see the, the, that the colorectal cancer risk population that we have. You know that most of the time colorectal cancer occurs in patients with, without family history. In about 25% of cases, there is family history. Um, and in 1 into 20, around 5% of all colorectal cancer tumors are just a manifestation of hereditary syndrome. But we know that this is very simplistic and that hereditary syndromes occur in what we know as, as sporadic or familial. So sometimes it's a really challenge diagnostic um, uh, task. And then these are all the hereditary syndromes that we know these days. And then I'm gonna focus specifically on Lynch syndrome because it's one of the most difficult to diagnose and is usually overlooked in the clinic. Lynch syndrome, as you know, is, a, is the most common hereditary ca cancer syndrome, colorectal cancer syndrome. Up to 5% of uh, tumors are, respons uh, are responsible for this syndrome. And the cause is a germline mutation in mismatch repair genes. It's an autosomal dominant pattern um, um, syndrome, and the clinical phenotype is basically cancer predisposition. So in the families with Lynch syndrome, there is a lifetime risk of colon cancer of 75%, almost 70% of endometrial cancer, and less frequently other tumors. And what is more characteristic and more important for its diagnostic is that the tumors of these patients, they show two markers that are very important to, to for the diagnosis, as I said, one is microsatellite instability, which is a PCR-based assay, and the other one is uh, uh, the immunostochemistry uh, with the loss of expression of the, of the proteins. And these days, immunostochemistry is the basis of the diagnosis of Lynch syndrome. We can, we can see loss of expression, to, of nuclear expression of, the, of the, these four proteins in the tumors. And the pattern of expression, the pattern of loss of expression in the tumor will tell us which is the germline, which is the gene that is mutated, mutated in the germline. However, there is a very important thing to keep in mind, which is that up to 15% of tumors will show loss of expression of MLH1 and PMS2. And we know that most of the time will not be a Lynch syndrome, but this is a somatic event, an acquired event that is not genetic and is not, uh, can, it, it cannot be transmitted to the, to the, um, to the candidate, so this is important to know. As I said, this is an undiagnosed syndrome. Uh, we know that for the recent studies that in, in the US and also in Europe, less than 50% of cancer centers perform IHC or MSI. Family history remains largely unrecognized, and the phenotype of Lynch syndrome sometimes is very challenging. Um, sometimes there is no family history, and 15% of patients show can present cancer uh, above 70 years old. So